Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator news and updates and we got quite a bit for you guys today. Some really cool stuff coming out of the woodwork so stick around. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so first up is Fulcrum 1 Throttle Kickstarter opens up. Fulcrum 1 brought us the um, One Yoke um, a, quite a while back now. Um, I'll show you guys their uh, website here. Uh, this was the yoke that they launched a long time ago. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to pick one up a long time ago, but um, it... There's a pretty significant waiting list. Now, I'm not knocking them for that. They are a very small company. They're in early development. Um, so, you know, don't take that negatively. I'm just impatient. It's just one of those things. Um, <laughs> but uh, absolutely want to support uh, them and their work. This is a new all-metal six-axis uh, controller. Um, now, it looks like, I mean, you can see the screw heads going right through the handle tops as well. So this is definitely going to be more aimed for general aviation, um, but there's no reason why this can't be used on really any aircraft that you choose. Now, the all-metal construction definitely has my attention. However, I'm looking for something like a tensioner. Well, maybe that's it. Maybe we have some sort of tensioner here. I guess I need to see more about it. There isn't a whole lot here um, as far as describing what the... Oh, here we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. Six-way, two-momentum rocker switches. Okay, so all the switches that are at the bottom are momentary. That I don't like. I, I've never liked momentary switches. They have um, a few purposes, in my opinion, for simulation. You know, every now and then you can find a, a good reason to use a momentary switch. But what that means, for those of you who may not, you know, quite understand what that means, is that when you push the switch down, it goes down. But then as soon as you let go, it goes back to the center position. And that's just... For me, those most of those are immersion breakers. I actually got rid of my X55 years ago primarily because it didn't have the toggle switches on it. So that's a real big thing to me. However, these two definitely... Oh, there we go right there. Never mind. Interchangeable lever tops for different types of aircraft. Uh, okay, that, is, that changes the whole game quite a bit. So really, the only thing that I'm not happy about is that. Um, but uh, six analog axis... Non-contact GMR magnetic sensors for each axis as per our yoke. All metal construction, realistic and smooth system for lever tensioning. There it is right there, based on real aircraft mechanisms. So um, we're probably going to get a bit more um, realistic feeling than any other throttle. With it, all of it being an all metal construction, you're going to feel that tension. You're going to feel those actuators um a significantly different so i am excited about that part i'm going to keep an eye on this one i may pick this one up i enjoy the size i like the different mounting options either can be up on top of the desk or you have the option of mounting it to the tabletop and then being able to rotate it as well that rotation uh there are many scenarios i can think of where that rotation ability is going to be gold so let's uh let's cross our fingers let's hope for this uh this to uh be successful they have a kickstart program here are the uh, pricing points for it and what you're looking at is hopefully for shipping to begin november 1st of 2022 so uh yeah let's keep an eye on this one all right with the opening of the top gun movie the top gun maverick expansion for microsoft flight simulator has also been released the uh, expansion offers things like the uh, of course the uh, F18E Super Hornet um, livery for Top Gun as well as the landing challenges and expansion that adds the uh, carrier as well we're definitely going to be checking this out on the channel uh, i'm still very uh, very on the fence about it but uh, we'll know more about it when we actually fly and it was a free update so it wasn't like it was anything that it was uh, you know game breaking or anything like that but the screenshot looks look pretty cool although that's actually a very terrible approach right there if i'm not mistaken 
Um, but uh, obviously the graphics of Microsoft Flight Simulator will definitely make this a pretty fun experience. And uh, there's parts of it that I'm definitely excited to try out. And there's parts of it that have me a little bit on the edge. So I guess we'll see what happens when we do the review video of the uh, Top Gun expansion. So make sure you guys keep an eye on the channel for that. Hopefully we'll be taking a look at that later this afternoon. This one got me pretty excited. Uh, Flight Beam has always been one of my favorite scenery developers. I think that they actually do just wonderful work. I loved their stuff in X-Plane 11. And it's nice to see that uh, I've actually been wondering this a couple months ago, um, whether or not they were going to be returning to doing work for North America. We haven't seen a whole lot of them from that. So luckily that we, <laughs> we even got a post about it, which I was really appreciative of. And one of the ones that caught my attention was that one right there. However, the first of their airports will be Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I uh, actually flew in there for a business once. Uh, they are working on San Francisco. And the second uh, airport to be announced is the Phoenix Sky Harbor. And this is the one that I actually missed. I had this one for X-Plane 11. Um, and it was, they did a wonderful job at Phoenix. Wonderful job at Phoenix. I don't fly Phoenix, out of Phoenix much. Um, but I do when I do the a lot of the airliner flights. You'll catch me uh, coming out of Phoenix pretty often. So the one thing that they do... Or sorry, maybe it was prepared. Maybe I'm thinking prepared and not X-Plane. But they said that these projects are not ports from prepared... Um, but are extensive remakes. So that's absolutely wonderful. Um, there's been a lot of porting from FSX and P3D, and so it's kind of nice to see a lot of this stuff being uh, done from scratch. And again, I really appreciate Flight Beam's work. I've always really liked their work. Now let's talk about a few add-ons that you guys might be interested in taking a look at this week. I have brought this one to the channel many times, and that is New Light. New Light changes the exterior lighting of the uh, aircraft, everything from its actual... Um, uh, illumination points to the color and hue of the lights themselves to make them more realistic and the aircraft that hit the uh, mark this week for uh, the new light add-on was the PMDG 737 as well as the Mooney M20 so if you guys are interested in picking this up I highly recommend it it makes a massive difference when doing night operations in any of these aircraft that are supported and uh, this is one that I will continue to follow for quite a while. They are really doing a wonderful job with this mod. The MSFS add-on linker will always be a tool that I will recommend very, very heavily to anybody who is interested in doing a bunch of different mods and add-ons as it gives you a great way to manage them in and out of the simulator. Uh, offer some incredible organizational options if you choose to dive in very deep. I use it on a very simplistic basis, really just on and off. But one of my favorite parts about it is the ability to do the uh, intense folder structure. So, for example, I have a folder that says scenery. I have a folder inside scenery that's United States. Inside United States is Arizona. Inside Arizona is Tucson, etc. You guys see where I'm going with this. And so it makes it very, very nice uh, that uh, Add-ons Linker supports that kind of folder structure. Believe it or not, a lot of add-on uh, uh, managers don't typically they'll only let you go one or two folders deep uh, so the fact that you can really dive into this and uh, um, uh, customize the organization to your liking is very very nice however this program is capable of doing so much more here's just a highlight of the latest update for the Microsoft flight simulator add-ons linker make sure you guys take a moment to pause the screen and read through this and definitely consider using this tool if you are someone like myself who is constantly taking a look at different aircraft add-on sceneries etc um, it really really makes it nice especially when it comes to troubleshooting and having to diagnose some of the issues with the simulator and an aircraft that I am always proud to announce on this channel is the A330-900neo. And the reason why I'm proud is it's a completely free aircraft. Even though we have full development A330s hopefully coming to the simulator sooner than later, um, we, uh, we do have this freeware A330. Now, my understanding is it is very heavily based on the fly-by-wire system uh, for the A320 and it is modified to support the A330. Um, however, all of the internals and externals, given that the aircraft, um, from a functionality standpoint inside the flight deck are fairly similar, uh, they were able to give us a working version of the A330 that is actually very, very well done. Nice, big, large aircraft that is a ton of fun to fly. Um, we are going to be bringing this one to the channel very, very soon. Uh, once we get everything else lined up and out of the way here, uh, I got quite a, quite a pile of things in front of me for this coming month here, but... 
it's definitely something that I want to get onto the channel. Here is the latest update that happened here back on May tw of uh, twenty or May twenty second, so just a few days ago. Um, super, super excited to give this latest update a shot. I have flown this aircraft quite a few times. It's a ton of fun. It's fun to do the landings in it, especially. I think the landings with the larger aircraft are the most fun. They just, for some reason, they get more intense for me. So super excited that this aircraft is continuing to be maintained. Very, very happy about it. Um, I will also give you guys the heads up. The TBM 930 improvement mod um, has been updated. Um, I was able to finally fly it and test it. There's still a couple weird quirks that happen with it, but nothing anywhere near uh, game breaking. Just some a couple things that make you go, huh. Um, and I'm going to leave them out because if you guys don't notice them, then I'm not going to tell you about them because like I said, it's nothing game breaking. Uh, but definitely been very, very excited to be flying that around. I'll have a link to that down in the description below as well because you need to download it directly from the GitHub in order to get it. So uh, let's continue to... Um all right, my friends. Well, that will do it for this episode of news and updates. Hopefully we have more coming down the line very, very soon. As always, my friends, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next one.